Hello, my name is Hugh Thomas. I work inside Duke's Office of Information Technology. This is a quick video about a project I completed this past semester with a group of creative undergraduates from the Computer Science Department. I met Duke's Computer Science Professor Robert Duval last summer. He was searching for some product ideas for his Computer Science 408 undergraduate class. Students really took the project by the horns and took it a long way further than I expected. This is the story of that project. One of the ways that we describe this course is that students learn everything about how to develop and deploy a piece of software uh, beyond just the coding, uh, which is what they focus on for most of their other classes. So this gives them a chance to, to really pull together everything that they've learned in their computer science uh, career uh, and also put it into a real world context where they get to make the decisions uh, and they get to advise the clients on uh, what they think the best technology is to use to solve the client's problems. We wanted to create an experimental application, a mobile app, that utilized Apple's AR kit. And we knew that we wanted to incorporate the Blue Double, but we had I mean, a lot of different ideas as to what we wanted to do with that. Our project um, started off sort of as a research project. Uh, the AR space is a very new space, um, and no one really knows where it's going to go. So we wanted to develop an app that would showcase some of the use cases um, and inspire people. To, um, to think about what AR could mean to them. My primary role in the project was designing the Blue Devil. So I created a, a generic human model in Fuse, and then I imported that into the design software Blender, which um, gave me the freedom to be able to virtually sculpt uh, the model's features into something that actually resembles the Blue Devil. Um, and it was really rewarding to be able to see this generic human um, that I started out with turn into this iconic figure that we all love. <laughs> yeah, so I mainly worked on the iOS development part of the project, so I utilized Swift and the Xcode development platform. I also got some experience dabbling with uh, some design tools, such as Blender, which, I haven't, which I've never touched before. And of course, we all, I also became more familiar with uh, Git and uh, from, a, uh, from a more uh, abstract perspective, agile methodologies overall as well. I, I would say that throughout this semester, um, because you're working with an actual client, it's real work. Um, uh, that means that you also have to learn a lot of things on the go, um, which was a challenge in itself, but I think I really enjoyed the, um, you know, the whole process of um, making yourself accountable, making yourself um, challenging yourself, oh, I need to learn this, such that I can do this, develop, do, deliver this to my client. Um, and that, I think at the end result, um, looking back, I think that was very rewarding and I felt like I learned a lot from it. I was pleasantly surprised by the outcome from this CS408 class. Uh, the project concept at the beginning was quite vague. And by the end of the 10 weeks, uh, the team had developed a really high quality product that we're very proud of. I would have never expected to be working on an AR app when I came to, came to Duke, but um, here I am having this awesome opportunity to be mentored by you know, people like Hugh, people like um, our professor, our Professor Duval, um, to work on this stuff. I, I think that this project overall was incredibly exciting to work on, and getting to see um, from start to end what we've been able to create and the potential um, for who could use this and what it can do has been incredibly, incredibly exciting. Um, I feel really lucky to have worked on this team, and um, I'm excited to explore an AR further down the road um, because it's uh, the possibilities of what you can do are wild, and it's so it, it, it's like you're in the future already. So that's pretty cool. I'm hoping the result of this project will help spur some ideas for use cases on Duke's campus. If you have any ideas or want to explore some technology with us, please contact me at the following email address.